1st of March, 2021. And I'm sitting outside in a t-shirt, living simply. You gotta love a day like today, right? And uh, it definitely feels like spring. We're able to get Debbie's dad outside for a, for a few minutes just to get some real sunshine on his face, which is fantastic. And you gotta embrace every day, right? Um, last week we had an incredible three days working with um, over 30 businesses who joined us live almost exclusively for three days. They cleared the calendar and, uh, and worked with me and Lindsay and um, just lapped it all up over nine sessions and uh, very excited to get to know them and just see what's best for them and their future with working with us. And do you know, I'm just looking at my calendar, March 1, and thinking back a year ago today, none of us could have foreseen what was about to happen. And we, we'd kind of called it at our office anyway and everybody had started working from home because it just felt like the right thing to do. And a couple of our team were on the way to San Diego for social media marketing world, which we weren't sure whether they should go or not, but they had masks and they distanced and it was fine. But gosh, a year from, a year from now, I mean, look where the world is at. I mean, I've had four COVID tests. I don't know how many you've had. Um, I still socially distance. I'm living in an island, which is in a very special bubble because there's very little COVID here. There are some, but not too many. Um, and the contact tracing works very, very well from what I can see. But for the rest of the world, we're nowhere near close to any kind of normality. And, um, but I think we're closer than we've ever been, obviously. And with vaccines and all of the knowledge that we have, I think it's getting closer. England is saying sort of like April to July, things are gonna roll out. We'll see. Canada needs to get a lot more vaccinations under the belt before we can even look at that. But how do you take each day? How do you look at the world and just say, I can do this? What? On a day like today, you sit outside in the sunshine and you embrace it, right? And um, that's what you gotta do day by day. Just embrace it and see what comes your way. I've been reading a book called The Cumulative Advantage by Mark Schaefer and um, just so many uh, wisdom bombs in that book, but he was talking about how the most profitable companies in the world continue to, to buck the trend. And over the last 20 years, especially in the last 18 months, they've gone up and up and up. Whereas a lot of businesses have gone down because they are well-known, well-trusted, and people want more of the same. They want nostalgia. They want to stay in touch. Companies like Apple and Amazon, and Tesla, I mean, they're big companies, but they've got their marketing right. And you know, it doesn't have to be the size of your company that matters. It has to be the size of your marketing Intu intuition, if you like, just knowing what people need, being able to get out there and help them get it. I mean, that's what it's all about. So excited to help a bunch of people do exactly that over the next six months, as we do every month with our clients that we have anyway. <sighs> 11 degrees in the Isle of Man, 1st of March. I would never have believed I would be sitting outside for the second day in a row um, in sunshine. A year from now, not much will likely change. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Maybe not. I mean, we could be in this position this time last year with variants and, and, and new things sort of changing with the virus. So it doesn't mean we give up. It just means we, we adapt. We pivot. We, we know what people need. We provide exceptional customer experience and they buy from us. But they need to find us. They need for us, for us to show up. They need for us to be consistent with... Um, our messaging to help them. And for the businesses that are doing that, they're actually doing pretty well. So yeah, I just thought I'd share some spring sunshine and bless you guys. And um, thanks for watching. It's supposed to be a shaving chronicle, already shaved, kind of a funny day. I worked all morning, went to the gym for an hour, came back, showered, shaved. I was like, it's like 1.15. It's a weird time to do a shaving chronicle. So I thought I'd wait until about the same time that I would typically do it in BC um, but I'm in the UK eight hours ahead, so four something or other, 422, and um, it's a beautiful spring day. So if it's not where you are, I hope the sunshine blesses you. I hope uh, you're doing well. I hope your message is on point. I hope you're positive for what's possible and that you stay safe. And I'll say goodbye. Bye for now.